Why Percy, I hear you ask? Well, it's a long story. Sir Topham Hatt originally asked Spencer to go, but despite Thomas telling Spencer about how slippery and muddy the quarry route was, Spencer didn't listen. He slipped off the rails and got covered in mud, and had to return to get cleaned up. Unfortunately, the engine wash was being repaired, so Gordon was sent out. Gordon was quite careful to keep clean and even sheltered from a storm. But although the rain had stopped, a mudslide fell on top of him. He returned to the sheds to find the engine wash still being repaired, or not as the case may be. Henry was then sent, but that naughty Tom Moss the prank engine had tampered with some signals, causing Henry to crash into James. Percy just happened to be passing and Thomas asked him to take the royal coach and collect the very important person. And that's where we are now. Percy was nearing the coast and just had one tricky piece of track left. It was the area formerly known as Boulder Mountain, but the track there had collapsed a while back and a replacement had been built around the mountain and just over the rocks in the sea. Percy approached the sharp bend unaware that one side of the new rails had been washed away in the storm. He turned the bend, couldn't stop, but tipped up and took the bend on two wheels. How did he do that? Back with two rails, he tipped himself upright again and carried on as though nothing had happened. Well done, Percy. The very important person was waiting at the country station. It was Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. He liked coming to this part of Sodor for a holiday to get away from it all and was now on his way home. Percy approached and stopped. Prince Hans got on board and Percy left for Knapford station. There, Connor was waiting to take him back to the mainland and then onwards to the Southern Isles. The long bridge was easy for Percy and he had an unadventurous journey back to Knapford. There a crowd had gathered to see the prince. Knapford was a busy station. Percy pulled in. The prince got out and thanked Percy. The crowd cheered and Percy left. Prince Hans climbed aboard Connor and with more cheering, Connor left Knapford. What an eventful day! <laughs>